is up, Nerf Nation and citizens of the interwebs? It is I, Nerfinator99, and today I have a fantastic thrifting video for your viewing pleasure. Uh, I know I said I was going to try to post or film and then post on Sundays, maybe Monday mornings, but my wife was out of town last weekend at a wedding, so uh, how to watch our kiddos. But I am bringing you a wonderful thrifting video right now. So let's hop into it. Uh, these are my thrift finds for uh, basically the last couple of weeks. Hit a few different stores a few different times. And uh, got a neat selection of blasters, if I do say so myself. Uh, so let's hop right into it. The first blaster actually had a spot on my last video uh, where I got a let go haul for I think about $70. Ended up paying about $10 per blaster. And that is the Doomlands Desolator. Now the last one that I paid $10 for actually had the battery cover and the sweet magazine that comes with it. This one didn't, but I only paid $1.99 for it. So I might use it for an integration or, you know, just take the stuff out of it, something like that. But uh, for two bucks, didn't want to pass it up. What's next? What's next? Um, this is the Super Soaker Electro Storm. It's a really compact, battery-powered uh, water gun, um, and I pay two ninety-five for it. Uh, I just thought it was neat for three bucks, and it's got a really small tank, but it was fun to water my plants with. I wouldn't suggest it in a uh, Nerf or water war because it doesn't shoot very far and it doesn't hold very much water, but it's fun for messing around the house or, uh, like I said, watering your plants. What else? Um, this is a Nerf reactor, and I have not purchased an, a reactor before. Um, I usually just pass them up because I don't have much of a use for them. But this one actually came with two of the ballistic balls, and it is in really, really good shape. Uh, the stickers are there, logos are there. Um, doesn't have a whole lot of scuffs or markings on it, so for $1.99 for that and the ballistic balls, I thought it was a pretty good deal. Alright, what else? Um, I have a Secret Strike AS1. This is the first Secret Strike I have also purchased. Um, and this is just the fun, fun little blaster. Very satisfying to hear that little pop when you fire one of these. You can clip it on to anything your backpack or your, your uh, belt loop or whatever and it's just a nice little backup or just something to have fun with that around the house another thing I got is the Rebel spy light it did not come with the light uh, unfortunately but it was uh, only 99 cents I don't know if you can see that tags a little bit messed up um, but this thing is sweet it has extra dart storage in the grip here and uh, I think this outperforms the strong arm. Uh, you can load it without having to drop the, the cylinder out. Um, and it just sounds more powerful. It has a nice grip. Uh, this is a pretty sweet blaster, in my opinion. Uh, this is the Super Soaker Squall Surge. And it is obviously a water blaster. Um, but I converted it to shoot Nerf darts. to pump it like a million times and uh, shoots about 50 feet but that whoosh is just satisfying to hear um, it's pretty neat pretty neat uh, shell I was just gonna rip the tank out of it and the pump and use it for something but I looked inside of it and said man this is kind of neat so I just uh, converted it paid I think 99 cents for this one uh, this blaster is really interesting and unique I'd never seen one before, didn't know what was going on with it, uh, picked it up for $1.99, and uh, I asked around on the Nerf Thrifters Facebook page. Uh, if you like thrifting, watching thrifting, you thrift yourself, I definitely suggest checking out that page and joining it, because you can see other people's cool stuff, you can talk about cool stuff you've gotten. Um, but this is called the Kid Stuff Dart Shooter. Uh, I, like I said, I asked around and someone had posted Oh, hey, I know what that's called, where, you know, where it comes from and stuff. And they posted a brand new in-box picture of one. So that was neat. 
Um, but they said that it shows up at places like Rite Aid or Cracker Barrel and is probably way overpriced. Um, it doesn't really perform very well. I've actually gone in and modded this one already. And it's pretty loud now, uh, but it maybe only shoots 50 feet. Uh, but it's pretty cool because this is the chamber that it fires out of. These two are just storage and these three are storage. So you have six shots and five storage. Um, it's really small on the grip and it's just kind of like bulky elsewhere. Really interesting shell. Uh, but I picked it up for $1.99 and thought might as well. Uh, this one is pretty sweet. This is the X-Shot Rapid Fire. This is the like bug splat version or whatever. Um, I love the grip on this. It's very large, nice large grip. Um, I've already gone in and modified it. And it hits like a champ now. Pretty sweet. I took the, the blue bug goop stuff off. You can see it there. Just because I think this is cooler and I really want to make a holster for it. Uh, $1.99. Awesome. Pick one of these up if you see it. Uh, this is another water gun. This is the Storm 500. Picked it up for $1.99. Um, you can pump it up a bunch and then it fires. Um, it has a battery compartment right here and if you put batteries in it, this uh, clear orange part lights up. I thought that maybe I could fire a Boomco dart out of here if I did some, some filing along the chamber, but uh, it still doesn't work and I'm probably just going to give up on it. I might use the pump for uh, an integration or a pump grip build or something later. Um, but yeah, just pick this one up. All right. Ooh, the Hailfire. This is sweet. Uh, I love the Hailfire. This is my second one. This one 100% uh, works. So does my other one. Um, this one did not have the guards, but uh, my other one does. So for uh, 199 I figured why not pick this one up because they are really fun to shoot, really fun to operate. Um, just a neat, neat blaster that I really enjoy. Um, this is an uh, AT2K, AirTech 2000. Uh, I have not thrifted any of the other AirTechs, the three, four, five, you know, what have you. Um, but this one works. Pump it, pump it right up there. And again, just a satisfying air release. These old school air release blasters are really cool. Um, and this is just an awesome one to add to the collection. What else? Oh, yeah. Today, I went to the thrift store and I found a super messed up Centurion. But I was able to get the clip out of it and uh, slapped a $1.99 sticker on there. I think they wanted $4.99 for a super messed up, um, janked out Centurion. But I was like, man, it has the clip, so definitely need to pick up the clip. Speaking of the clip, I have another Centurion clip here. Because last week, I picked up a full Centurion. Oh, this one isn't full. Um... Here's the, here's the front, there everybody. Uh, I picked this one up, I think the sticker says $2.99, but I think they only charged me $1.99. I went to the, the counter with a bunch of stuff and I said, hey, you should get like a frequent buyer discount or something. Um, and the lady ended up taking a few bucks off of some of mine because she knows I'm in there all the time and they used to price their blasters 99 cents, $1.99, $2.99, depending on the size. Um, and they went up in their prices a lot on a, a lot of things. But she gave me uh, the old school prices, and I very much appreciated that. Um, this one was messed up too. It was stuck on the half, the half prime and just messed up. I opened it up to try to mess with it to see if I could get it to work. My suggestion is don't do that. It's very frustrating. It's very uh, complicated and just weird inside here. So I just scrapped all of it. Um, it's missing everything now. <laughs> Scrapped it all, got some screws, got some springs, got some little pieces to use for other stuff. Uh, but I think I might make a barrel attachment out of the barrel because since it fires megas, it's a lot wider um, and you're not going to get as much barrel drag than, say, like a recon barrel. Um, and the rest of this, I might use a, a shell for an integration. They make really nice um, stocks. So... There's that. Uh, 
picked up another hammer shot for a dollar ninety nine. Love the hammer shot. I think this is my third one. Um, yeah, between the hammer shot and the sweet revenge, awesome. Like, pick them up every time if they're cheap. Uh, I got the lion of the little foam ball shooter uh, targets, and I think I have the bear and the duck over there. Um, and I picked this guy up and the front was missing right here and I had an extra bear so I said, oh man, I'm just gonna put it right on there. If you wanna do that, it's not gonna work. I had to cut mine and hot glue it and all sorts of stuff. It did not just pop right in there because apparently they make them and they're different sizes. So uh, I wanted to fix this one up though because my son wants to have a Nerf birthday this year and I thought it would be neat for him to have uh, targets for him and his friends to shoot at. So these are some pretty sweet targets. You put uh, the batteries in there, turn them on, and every time it hits the tongue, it's like goes pew, pew, and then you can just collect the darts out of there. So pick that up for, for my little guy to play with. Also got a Proton for $1.99. Um, I have not come across this uh, particular color scheme, so I thought, why not for $1.99. Got it. Avalanche. Got another Magnus. I want to say, yep, $1.99. Probably going to use this one for its plunger tube and just the shell because I have a couple of them already. <laughs> but for $1.99, pretty awesome. On the bottom of the Avalanche, we have a Praxis for $1.99. This is probably my favorite. Um, Vortex Springer. I like the look of it, the setup of it. You can throw a stock on there. And just the uh, grip is really nice. A lot of the Vortex grips were really cool. Um, also picked up a Retaliator for $1.99, I believe. Um, they had $1.99 on the stock and $1.99 on the Re Retaliator, so I just threw the stock on there and uh, was like, I'm not paying $4 for both of them, so come on. And the Retaliator was actually stuck and messed up, but I opened it up and fixed it. I think someone just had taken it apart and tried to mod it and then just put it back together all wrong. But I got it working, through an extra spring in there even. And uh, it's nice now, it's nice. Probably gonna use this for a, a project. Uh, this is the Splatter Blast. It is another water gun that you just pump. There's The trigger is not functional. It's not a real trigger. It's a faux trigger. Um, and this, like a couple of the other zombie strike uh, water guns, have a little button right here and a battery tray, and it then lights up the water tank. So you can spray lit up water all over the zombie horde. Um, I picked this up for $3, and I basically just picked it up to pull this grip off of. I have a project already that I'm working on that I really needed this grip for. I also picked up this Super Soaker for $3, pretty much just for the grip. I'm going to uh, make a second of an old project and try to sell it. Um, so when it gets all said and done, that uh, pump grip is going to be on something like this and I'm going to uh, have it up for sale so be on the lookout for that what else what else I do believe we are almost finished oh yes a uh, recon I believe I paid a dollar ninety nine for I slapped the scope on it or the uh, light on it because I like to use the reverse rails out of the lights to um, put on homemade scopes and other things. Plus, there's just so many useful parts of this blaster. It's a reverse plunger, so it's not great, but you got the stock attachment point, the grip, um, the priming handle is good for uh, pump grips. And uh, yeah, you know, there's a lot of useful parts on this blaster. Uh, just a couple more, a couple more. This is a Nitron that was a dollar ninety nine and I already have two functioning ones uh, I'm not sure if this one functions and it's not in great shape the uh, foregrip here is a little bit damaged I don't know if you can see it's kind of cracked and this one's a little bit beat up and it didn't have batteries in it and I haven't even tested it but I thought I would get it because they also make great stocks uh, if you just cut that off really good for integrations the grip is really nice 
It does have a foregrip, but this one, like I said, is a little bit messed up. But for two bucks, I thought, why not? Uh, this is another super soaker. This is the Flash Flood. It's pretty cool. It's pretty old school. Um, has two tanks. You can pump it up. And uh, if you fire the bottom one, it's a nice continuous spray. And this top one, if you just push this, it is a flash or a flash burst. Um, a very quick, powerful burst that's not continuous. Um, and I got it for $1.99 as well. Thought that was pretty sweet for an old school super soaker. Um, and it did not have a cap, but I have fabricated a cap out of a vitamin cap. Um, this thing has a lot of mod potential. I've seen some sweet stuff that people have done on the internet to these things. And then last but not least, the Speed Swarm. Uh, this guy is awesome. I paid five bucks for it. It's a little bit much, but uh, I got a Swarm Fire a while back and modded it, and they are super fun and super cool to play with. So I got this one so that I could have a lot smaller version. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome little blaster. Threw some batteries in it. Works just fine. Uh, so yeah, so that's my haul for a couple of weeks. Um, be on the lookout for more videos. I'm going to be doing some uh, mod videos, some things that I've homemade, and uh, I have a couple of blasters to do unboxing and reviews with that I also want to mod, so need to get around to doing that. Uh, but this has been my haul for a couple of weeks. Thank you all for joining me, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side.